you don't maintain that the financial plan should be endorsed since, supposing that it's supported, it's supported with dinar at the present National Bank esteem, 1310. You want the approval to be overturned by the court, according to Iraqi dinar Intel Guru Marx. Via PDK, this past weekend's meeting between Iraq and the International Finance Corporation went well. They currently play a global role. In Iraq, everything is going great. We still have a very good possibility of being able to discreetly go and trade before the rate is announced in the Gazette. They are undoubtedly making every effort to keep it quiet, just as they did with Kuwait, when they cut off all contact from that country for more than a week before the rest of the world found out. However, I don't think this is possible in the internet-driven society of today. According to Intel guru Frank to 6 report from troops on the ground in Iraq, Firefly, I spoke with my pal at the bank. According to him, citizens would have a specific amount of time to return for new, lower-value money when the zeros are dropped. It will be one to one, not one dollar for one dinar, but one twenty-five thousand one. It will gain value in the nation over one dollar. Most likely. The country's dinar will be somewhat more than one dollar. Frank, do you now see why 1,320 was chosen? Firefly, a 25k note, will remain a 25 note as the one to one will remove the three zeros from our currency and exchange rate. This is for use within the nation, not abroad. According to Iraqi dinar new sound, Intel Guru MNT GOAT, the Iraqi dinar is not going to be lopped by the IMF. The IMF use a lop as a technique to revive a currency after severe inflation. Additionally, publications for Iraq inform us that they will not devalue the dinar. They don't have severe inflation, hence they don't need this particular instrument. This explains why it's referred to as the project to delete the zeros, rather than a lop.